welcome to another technical video. Today we're going to take a quick look at the enhanced IP mode which can be found within all of 72 series TVI DVRs. As you may or may not know the, the TVI range of, of DVRs can accept one or more IP cameras out the box. The enhanced IP mode basically gives you scope to add additional IP cameras above the normal quota and in some cases more than double the amount can be accessible with enhanced IP mode enabled so quite handy feature if you've got uh, a mixture of analog and IP cameras on a site or you're slowly upgrading your analogs to IP you can add your additional IPs to the existing recorder keep your legacy analogs going and obviously upgrade over a period of time so if we go into the camera menu at the top under analog on the left hand side you can see we've got a list of our analog channels which have all been selected here as HD or CVBS channels, uh, no IP cameras have been selected. We've got our max IP camera number at the bottom, so that's eight. What we're looking at here is a 7216HUHIK2, which has the ability to add eight IP cameras out of the box under normal conditions. If we go across and click on the system tab here, you'll see a little tick box in the bottom right hand corner, enhanced IP mode, if we tick on that and apply. You will get a pop-up message here basically saying that smart events from your analog inputs are no longer available under enhanced IP mode so you do lose that by having the enhanced IP mode on so obviously make sure that you don't need to have any of the smart events, intrusion or line crossing events enabled on your analog channels because you won't get that whilst enhanced IP mode is enabled. You will still get the smart events from your IP channels, so not all is lost, just your analog channels. So if we click yes to that, the unit will reboot, uh, which will take obviously uh, a couple of minutes, but once it's back on, obviously we, we, we should see the additional IP channels that have now become available. Okay, so now the unit's rebooted, we can obviously go back into the camera menu at the top and back into the analog camera option. We can now see that our IP camera quarter has gone up from 8 channels originally now to 16 so in a sense doubled uh, the amount of available IP cameras that we have available. So as I said earlier this is a HUHI recorder and they will ac actually accept double the IP cameras with enhanced IP mode enabled than before. So obviously a 16 channel unit that we're looking at here will now take 16, an 8 channel unit will, take, will go from 4 to 8 and a 4 channel will go from 2 to 4 in a sense giving you the same amount of IP cameras available as you have analog cameras. So as we can see here we've got up to 16 analog cameras on the left hand side. We've also got 16 IP cameras available. So this kind of turns the HUHI recorder into a full hybrid machine. You can utilize as many IP cameras as you've got analog but what you can ac actually also do is disable your analog inputs as shown here. If we uh, put a dot in the radio buttons for IP that disables the analog input turns it into an IP and actually increases our available IP channels so we can go down that full list and enable all uh, IP options at the same time disabling the analog input and what we'll end up with at the end is a 32 channel NVR in a sense which we can see here so the HUHIs can be treated as a, a full hybrid unit that you can customize to take as many analog inputs up to 16 as you need and obviously as many IP cameras up to 32 if, if you disable the analog input so a very flexible sort of machine in terms of using both analog and uh, IP. The other 72 series recorders will take additional IP cameras with enhanced IP mode not quite as many as the HU HI recorders but still an improvement and obviously a tool that you can use on your installs to gain additional functionality from the machines. Uh, we do have a handy chart available on our website which tells you exactly how many IP cameras you can add originally out of the box and also with enhanced IP mode enabled and you can get that from our website at the location that you'll see on the screen right now so please take advantage of that uh, download it and hopefully it'll be of some help when you're out about on your installs uh, if we quickly click on the maintenance tab top right hand corner and go down to the network uh, option we can actually see here that we have some tools that allow us to see exactly what's uh, happening on the network. If we go down to stat we can see exactly what we've got coming in. We can see what our total uh, idle bandwidth is and also what our send and receive uh, idle bandwidths are. Obviously DVRs don't tend to have 
the same bandwidth quarters as NVR so when you're adding these IP cameras just to keep an eye on um, on your quarter under the um, stat option under the, the network sub menu under maintenance that'll tell you exactly what you've what you're using and also exactly what you've got left so you don't go above that quarter which obviously cause you problems um, with your IP camera streaming so that's it for this video I uh, hope it's been of some use and uh, something that you can obviously utilize when you're on about your travels thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video